Okay, I think that is going. I think that red dot. All right. All right. Okay, seat belts. Seat belts are fastened. Essential fuel, fuel shuttle valve is on. Cyclic. And collect to friction. That's already on. Cyclic friction off. Okay, it's free. Engage. Circuit breakers are in. Carb heat is off. Unlocked. Mixture fuel rich. Mixture guard on. Primer, there's no primer. Landing lights off. Avionics. Well, is there an avionics switch? No. There isn't an avionics switch, but you can check each item individually. So, so that is, this is just your ICS, so it's intercom. Oh, okay, so don't worry about that. Um, this is you off. Have, you have your radio, your GPS, which has a little knob here. This is, okay. Yeah, and then the transponder. This is off. Right okay. <laughs> Clutch is disengaged. Optimer is set. Set for 50. Governor switch is on. Throttle. Well, okay, so since it hasn't been started today, mm -hmm. are we, are we going to need to Just run the throttle? Yeah, let's do, so you do three twists at the very start of the day, and then one for your subsequent start. So since we're the first one, let's do three. Verify then close. verify, go into the detent. Yep. Okay, verify closed. All right. Okay, um, battery strobe switch on. Strobe is on. Area clear. Clear? All right. Ignition switch. On. Oh, go ahead. There you go. Do you, do you need to yeah, put this in between? Ahead. Hold that and there. block it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Both start. Okay. Starter. Light to go on. So, uh, form of arc. So, I, uh, so I warm up the. I can turn on the radio avionics stack. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the avionics going. Okay. Does this go to? Yeah, let's go over to altitude on that one.
Okay, so I'm going to wait for the. Uh, we're just going to wait for the clutch light to go out. Okay. And then, uh, and then we'll go to the form of a RPM. Okay, clutch light is out, so we're going to roll up to seven five. Let's go just a little bit higher up to Walmart. Yeah, just out of the Oh, yellow. keep it in the seven. Keep it out of the yellow. Yeah. But under 80. Yeah, exactly. So it's right between that 70 to 80 range is perfect. Okay, so we're going to wait for the cylinder head temp to get into the green. Okay. And then we'll do our uh, mag check. Sounds good. Let's grab our weather information and we'll tell the GPS to okay. uh, that uh, we accept its so, database. So this is the, uh, this is ATIS. Yeah, that's ATIS right there. And then we punch over. And then, yeah, uh, go, ahead go ahead and turn ahead. that up. We'll start to hear it. Yes, we should. They might be changing it right now. We'll tell the GPS, okay, okay. Put in 121.4 for Hayward Ground since we're not going to be really going anywhere. I'll also be staying on the airport. It's uh, 18. Hey, we're deporting information. November 1750 Zulu. Wind count. Visibility three quarters of a mile. Yes. Sky condition ceiling 500 overcast. Temperature 10. 2.11. Altimeter 3021. Our GPS only two left. Approach in use. Landing and departing runway is 28. Those airmen. Hey, we're DME unmonitored. Use caution for personnel and equipment adjacent to runways and taxiways. Attention all aircraft has this weather information from Northern California and Coast War is available on high loss or flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact user information, November. Right. November. November. Okay, so it's 18, 19 Celsius. So let's say 22.5. All right, so 23.5 maybe. Okay. Okay, uh, so we're in the green. All so right. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, uh, okay. All right, so, uh, so I'm gonna go to the left, turn to the left, uh, count 1,000, 2,000, make sure it doesn't go down below, uh, well, okay, so 7% seven, 7 from where it is. Yeah. So, yeah, I should roll down a little bit then. Well, okay, so, or, or where, where do you, or it doesn't matter, just, doesn't just, matter. just go. There's no more than 7%. We got to keep it below 80, otherwise the governor kicks in. There we go. So if we go to 75, that usually makes it a little easier to read. We'll just go right in the Okay, middle. 75, then one line below 70 would yeah. be 7%. Okay, yeah. so let's go to 70. Is that 75 or? Yeah. Okay. So we got about a 5% drop on that one, okay. which is within limit. And we'll take it back to 75. 
There we go. One one thousand two. Car piece, so we're gonna test car piece. I'm gonna pull hard car piece. Yeah, gonna pull car piece. We'll watch for a rise watch in the temperature people. gauge. Drop in the RPM. Drop in RPM. Yeah. There's okay. our rise. Verified There's our rise. Drop. Looks okay. good. Okay, car piece down. Okay, right click check. Okay. So for that, you're gonna want it a little bit higher, uh, closer to 80. Okay. So Is that gonna roll up? Yeah, give a little bit of a roll up, and then you're going to roll off. Once you get up there, a little roll up, and then we'll roll off the other way. And we can see a good okay, separation so there. Good. Looks good. Okay. Doors. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away, and let's see, I'm going. Okay, right. so I'm gonna uh, take off the friction. Okay. Uh, uh, we're gonna roll. I'm gonna uh, roll up, so we're gonna get 104 uh, percent, and then we're gonna uh, lift the collective slightly, okay. and then roll off. All right, check the low rotor RPM. Up. And then uh, down to 97, and we should hear the low, the low rotor RPM horn. Okay. Before you roll, go ahead and put both your feet on the pedals, okay. because this is the stage we're where we're getting. Fly. Yeah, we're ready to fly now. I'll let the governor catch up at okay. about 80. All right, and then... Uh, Fingernails up, and then I'm going to roll down, a little bit off. Okay, there's the rotor horn. All right. All right, I think we're ready to go. All right, so we're ready to fly, so I'll, I'll let you take it out. Okay. I have the controls. Okay, you have controls. I have the controls. Our rear heat for us, please. Thank you. Hey, we're ground. Helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha, meridian with November. We'd like to air taxi to the decommissioned helipads. Helicopter 622 Sierra Alpha, Hayward Ground, you're coming through a little broken, can you say again your request please? At Meridian, we'd like to air taxi to the decommissioned helipads for hover work. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, the uh, decommissioned helipad is uh, just that, uh, it's decommissioned, we don't use that. Do you have another request? Uh, decommissioned helipads are not available, we'd like to go to Spot Charlie instead. We're just going to be doing hover work though, won't be heading anywhere. go there before. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, hover taxi 2, spot Charlie via taxiway Zulu, hover work on taxiway Zulu between Expo and Foxtrot is approved. Use caution for personal and equipment uh, just between taxiway Zulu and runway 28 left in the grassy area. Hover taxi spot Charlie via Zulu, Zulu to Echo and Foxtrot approved for hover work and we'll use caution for personnel. 2 Sierra Alpha, thank you. I'll tell you what, let's start working you on. We'll do the cyclic good first. So go ahead and if you can, just keep us along this taxiway. So I'm going to give you the cyclic. Okay, I have cyclic. You have the cyclic.
just keep us moving generally in the direction that we want to go. And we'll call that good enough. And remember to make your inputs to the cyclic nice and small. The less you move the cyclic, the less the helicopter is going to move. And okay. generally, the more stable it will be. Where's Echo and Foxtrot? Uh, they about? are the not this intersection, but the next Axiway intersection. Oh, okay. And we'll turn and follow this line here. And then another turn again. I feel I need practice on this starting and stopping. Citation 510, Hotel Mike, Hayward, Clarence Delivery, good morning. It's all about just keeping... Citation 0, Hotel Mike, yeah, my frequency 121.4 and monitor, Clarence is on request. Is, is Foxtrot ahead of Spot Charlie? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is Echo so this right is Echo, here, and yeah. then Foxtrot would be the one all the way down at the okay. end. All the way down at the end? Yeah. Is uh, Foxtrot? Okay. as the way that you get it to behave as smoothly as you can. 
And then you can see you're doing a great job in the cyclic, just those tiny little inputs. The less you move the cyclic, the less the helicopter moves. All right. Looking great. Okay. Tell you what, let's try some pedal turns. All right. So let's go a little to the left to start with. Go ahead if you can. Hold us in the, the uh, same spot. And just give me a little bit of left pedal to start to rotate us around. All right. Okay, clear right. Clear left. All right. Looking good. Nicely done. Thank you. Do the same thing going to the right. Okay, clear left. Alright, clear both sides. are both looking good. Tell you what, take me up to spot Charlie. Okay. And we'll do something a little bit more interesting. Hey, we're ground. Good morning. Citation 510. Hotel Max and May. The request is taxi 28 left. So go ahead and if you can, keep Citation me on the center line of this yellow line, line and we'll stay just clear. outside spot one Charlie. From information oh. November. Alpha, and then one with right November. around here is Taxi good. Left, full length. So I want you to keep the front of the skids roughly on the, uh, the black line there, so our nose is facing in towards the center. Oh, okay. And then we're going to maneuver around the circle, uh, keeping those skids along that outer perimeter. Okay. And a constant rate pedal turn all the way around. So this will require both cyclic coordination and pedal coordination to do. All right. Uh, doesn't matter which direction. Nah, go ahead and uh, pick okay. whichever one you like. All right. As you see, it gets a little bit trickier there. Yeah. So I'm going to reduce your power setting for me just a little bit. We'll go back down to 22 and a half. There we go. We'll balance out in ground effect. There we go. All right, let's do one around to the right. Just keep working your way around the circle. Use those pedals to lock the nose in towards the center. And then just cyclic to keep yourself sliding around that outside track. Nicely done. Alright, thanks. So, uh, let's introduce the next the next one of these that I like to do. Go ahead and take me forwards and put the tail rotor in the middle of the circle. So go all the way forwards. 
and tow rotor is you know, about 20 feet behind us roughly, it's right around here. Alright, so now your goal is going to be t to turn about the tail rotor. All right. So instead of turning about the nose, you're going to have to swing yourself all the way around the outside of the circle, all right. but keeping the tail rotor in the middle. I'll let you choose which direction you want to go. Okay, I'm going left. All right. Oh, now you're in a pedal turn, much. rather. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go forwards here, and just keep that ground track out around the outside of the circle. There you go. And just keep that mental picture of where the tail is. Keep it pointed back towards the spot. This one's a little harder. But it's definitely good practice for building situational awareness of where the helicopter is. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. Let's try one going the other direction. Much better that time. Nice to done. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's do. Let's do two more pedal turns. The goal just being just straight pedal turns. So we'll go one to the left, one to the right. All right. Stick it in the same spot. All right. Okay. Clear the right. Clear the right. Yeah. Clear both sides. Okay. For a left pedal turn. Nicely done. All right. Okay, clear left for a right pedal turn. All right. to the left and point us towards the buildings. All right. All right, so now your goal is to keep us pointed this direction, but we're going to hover sideways down the taxiway to the left, and we'll all go right. all the way down to that other intersection. All right. So you have two points of reference. You have the reference in front of you and the reference to your side, keeping yourself along that line, but also keeping yourself pointed directly towards those buildings.
keep yourself pointed towards those buildings. And then just right along the line, there you go. stabilize here. Alright, tell you what. Let's go ahead and back up to the line and we'll go the other direction now. It's now looking out your way. helicopter to straighten out for you, straight up and down, and then just nice and relax with those cyclic inputs. Make those inputs smaller, you're moving the cyclic more than you have to right now. Oh, okay. There you go. Much better. And then pedal as you need it. Just keep yourself perpendicular. There we go. Is it better to just barely be looking forward and just kind of glance out to the right, or am I supposed to be like looking to the right? Uh, the I time? like to look out to the right and then kind of glance back and forth. Between oh, okay. Because that will give you the best reference. So like more to the right. Yeah. More time in the right to the right. Yeah. Whatever works best for you. Okay. Um, you might also find it helpful to look 45 degrees and use your peripheral oh. vision for both. Oh, okay. Go ahead and try that, yeah, see that if might. that helps. I bet it's actually a little easier. introduce you to something else. Have you done pirouettes before? Uh, on my RC helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll do some of those. So our goal is going to be to track along this yellow line. And we'll start off facing in the direction we want to go. So go ahead and uh, let's point us down the taxiway and we'll call that good. So we'll start just moving yourself that way. And let's do a, a left-hand pedal turn while continuing to track along that line. Let's just keep it nice and steady. And then you'll feel you'll have to change the cyclic inputs as you move around to keep yourself moving in the direction you want to go. So now we're working in all that coordination to all one maneuver. Oh, there you go. And keep it coming around. That's always the last part where people seem to, to lose it a little bit. There you go. Let's keep going. That pedal turn going for me. And then reference that line, see if we're center or not. No. Oh. Just keep that 
constant rate turn going. There we go. Keep moving us backwards. And now it's moving us to the left. And now it's moving us forward. So that cyclic is uh, going in a, yeah, in a big donut all the yeah. way around as we go to the whole maneuver. All right. Nicely done. Tell you what, let's head down to the end here. And we'll turn around and we'll try some of those going to the right. Okay. Yes, you were. I'm going to lose my translation. In terms of cyclic? Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Um, that's the hard part. Yes, yeah, that's the hard part. Is towards the end. Uh, just keep keep maintaining that outside reference. Uh, and you see, it's going to change. So we're looking down the line at first, but oh. then we can't see that anymore. So now we're looking over there. And we're flying backwards, doing the pedal turn there. There we go, and then just keep bringing yourself back along that line, and then we're going to switch to looking down the other way again. There we go. Alright, tell oh, you what. It's all right pedal turn, so yeah. we're going the other way. Yeah, let's go ahead and pedal turn us around. And remember that right pedal is more sensitive than the left one. Yeah. Side, keep that pedal turn going. And let's switch where we're looking. So now we're looking down. And keep the pedal turn going. Keep us moving backwards. Remember that cyclic position has to keep changing. And now we're looking out the other way. We're continuing forwards. Nicely done. Go and just keep it going. Okay. around. There we go. Remember to keep changing that cyclic. There you go. And then nice and gentle with the pedals. Let's do one more to get us to spot Charlie, then we'll hold okay. there. Nicely done. Let's do some pickups and some set downs. All right. So to do our set down, we're just going to come, we're going to stabilize to a hover here in the middle of the spot. Eyes outside on the green roof, nice and relaxed. Step one of the set down is always just get yourself stable and relaxed and ready to go. Uh, I'm trying to rush these things just uh, makes it harder. So once, we're, once you're feeling good, so just give me just that nice gentle bump down on the collective and you'll feel the helicopter lower and then settle in a new position. And this little bump down, little bump down, and just keep going until you feel yourself starting to contact the ground. Keep flying the helicopter even after you touch the ground. You'll feel it start to want to move, so just keep hovering it. Keep hovering and then nice and gentle lower. Nicely done. So when you when I bounce, it's because I'm not totally stationary, then, right? Like when you kind of when you uh, kind of bounce when you touch the ground. Yeah, when it gets um, kind of. It's that's, because that's pretty normal. The helicopter, it's it's very rarely at a center of gravity where everything hangs perfectly flat. 
So you're going to touch one of the skids first. Oh. So you're going to see it hit and then rock a little bit, pretty much no matter what. And usually the tail will also hang, or the nose will be a little bit high as well. So you'll feel it be one of the back corners of the skids. Um, so when we're going up, okay. just take it, yeah, take it slow and act, you can feel for that as well. So you'll probably feel the helicopter rock up off the ground. Not perfectly flat, but one, one part's going to leave first. All right, so we're going for the multiple stage pickup here. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get light on the skids and I'm going to fix anything. All right. So you can feel that your side came up first, and now we're touching that very back corner, and now we're up off. So that's why it feels uneven when you set down, is because we're uh, we're touching one part of the helicopter first, and it's going to make the helicopter move as you set down. And that's why that very terminal phase of the set down can be a little bit of a sticky spot for people, is because you, you fly and you feel yourself on the ground, and a lot of people at that point, their mind clicks over on the ground and they stop oh, flying. Okay, that's uh, why you just got to keep... Flying. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I say I like to say keep flying the helicopter until the collective is all the way down. Okay. And then anytime the helicopter isn't all the way down, whether that be you go raising or lowering, already be in that mindset of flying the helicopter and keeping it stationary. Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna set down again. Alright. So to get yourself nice and relaxed. Nice and stable. Oh. There you go. Not stable. Yeah, if it doesn't work, just bring yourself back up a little bit. We'll get ourselves set. There you go, looking great. So you're going to feel that back touch, and then you'll feel it rock down, and just keep flying it. And we're all the way down. All right, nice job. All right, thanks. Okay, so I'm pick up again. So you felt that time, especially yeah. as you went slow. It rocked up to where yeah. it wanted to sit and then came up off the ground. Nicely done. Okay, so I'm going to sit down. All right. Yeah, that was great. Nice and smooth and in control. a little bit quick. It's too messy. Focus primarily on just hovering the helicopter, but still eyes outside, relax, keeping everything stable. Don't feel for the ground, just wait for that to happen. So here we're just about there. I'll tell you what, go ahead and pick us back up. We'll restabilize. There we go. Those eyes outside, get nice and calm, relaxed. Let's get ourselves to a stable hover first. And then we'll just start you know, very gently initiating that set down. I don't feel for the ground, uh, no, no rush down to make it happen. Just keep the helicopter steady and gently lower yourself down. You're just hovering the helicopter until you're down on the ground. out there.
I made this for company and for clear the taxi. Keep your eyes outside. Good morning. Have a good day. There you go. Airport Minutes 4 and company, thanks for your help. You have a good one, too. Nicely done. It's a tendency, especially when you get lo uh, low like that, to start to overcorrect a little bit. You see the ground swaying around underneath you, and it looks like everything's moving a lot more than, than you're used to. I think that's what happened just a little bit. Just those, it, it increases the amount of controls that people tend to put in. Uh, so when you start to feel that happen, you can do one of two things. I mean, just pick yourself up, yourself a little bit higher, stabilize again, then restart. Or just uh, you know, consciously keep that cyclic more still. And that'll help to get the helicopter a little bit more stable. And even if you have to drift a little bit to make that happen, you can get yourself back on uh, without getting okay. yourself into that uh, pendular action at the bottom. Okay. All right, so pick, All up right. Up, <coughs> pick up again. All right. So fix that. Give me a little bit of left. There we go. Nicely done. All right. I try to sit down again. All right. Just eyes outside. You're looking stable as it is. So just let me gently down. And remember, you're gonna feel that back left touch first. and relaxed. Put that helicopter down nice and gentle. Nice done. Then just let yourself down and down. Perfect. Excellent. All right, so um I feel like last time the hard part was like on the on the approaches uh -huh. to land was coming through coming through ETL and then you know obviously I'm I'm lower I'm you know we got lower uh, manifold pressure because we're in yeah. translational lift and then I got to come back up to the hover yeah. power and then it, then it gets messy from the ETL coming out of ETL back to the hover so what well, so, oh. What what altitude are you supposed to be at roughly? Like you're coming on approach when you when you're coming through ETL, which is about let's say 15, 20, 5 knots kind of thing. Yeah. What altitude are you supposed to be like 10 feet or how how how, how high are you? Uh, it depends on the type of the approach, and the answer is that you can vary it. I would prefer on a normal approach you want to be in entering ground effects. So that's entering that you know, 10 foot range for uh, you no know, skid height. Uh, oh. that's, when, that's when you're starting to bleed everything back, and you let, and you'll feel the helicopter. As soon as you lose that forward, that effective translation lift will start to drop on you. So if you cheat in beforehand, you can anticipate that happening based on those big heavy vibrations that you feel. Yeah. You can start to bring up the collective left pedal, kind of a smooth transition, and that will set you up. So instead of when you lose it, instead of dropping, you uh, you lose it, but you're already halfway there. So you'll start to settle a little bit, but you won't. Bravo it won't be significant. All right, so, well, so where are we, like half a, half a rotor diameter then? Where's ground effect up to? The ground effect is a rotor diameter from the blades. So if you go 25 oh, feet from, from, the the, from the blades down, and I forget exactly how many feet there is, probably about, to call it like eight. All right, so it's going to be about 10, 10 feet. It's yes. going to be about 10, 12 feet will be in the ground effect. Yeah. Okay, so when you come out of ETL, you want to be sort of in ground. You want to be in that 10, yeah, around 10 yeah. feet. For, for a normal approach, it's good to just transition from one to the other. 
Okay. Alright. And we can talk about that more on the ground, All right. too. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to pick up again. Alright, let's pick up. Now let's probably about ready to head back. Alright. We spent a little while hovering. I think if we go too, too much longer, you'll start getting tired. Clear to Bravo, Juliet, Charlie Airport, the helicopter is going to rock up. 400 feet. Oh, oh almost there. The left, adding so one just fix the movement. Not Radar necessarily your attitude. Alpham. There you go. And now you're up on the ground. Miles. Maintain nice. 2000, expect flight level 410. All right, I'll tell you what, let's pedal turn. And let's head down to that furthest taxiway intersection. That we are three, six, cleared four, two. for now. And we'll make another radio call and ask to go back one to the airport. Or Bravo, to Juliet, the Darling, radius. have the runway heading to 400 feet. And a left turn, 170 radar vectors, Alpham, out file. Maintain 2000, expect 4105 after. 2535, 3642. Citation 1, Victor Popper, read back, correct. Here at ground, helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha would like to hover taxi back to Meridian. Helicopter 2 Sierra Alpha, hover taxi to Meridian via taxiway Zulu. Hover taxi via Zulu 2 Sierra Alpha. Alright. Yes, I'm just going to practice coming to a stop and kind of go again. Okay. To Sierra Alpha, and regarding the uh, decommissioned helipad, I have seen at times where it has been used before. I think it's been coordinated with uh, airport management prior to its use. I'm not sure if that's something that you could accomplish in the future. Just, uh, but you know, it has been used before despite its uh, status as being decommissioned. So I'm not sure what it would take for you to get over there. All right, yeah, thank you. I know it belongs to Meridian. Meridian's fine with us using it, but I think we'll have to talk to management then. Thank you. Just practicing stopping and starting. Okay. There's two now. All right, 
So let's put ourselves where we take off from, and I'll let you do that. So we'll slide around behind the BR-44. So we to go behind it? Yeah, and then we'll, we'll, so we'll fly around behind it, and then we'll come up to that spot we took off from. All right. Uh, which is um, in line with it, between it and the hangar.
This off. The ignition goes out. The light stops. The strobe lights come up, and the battery comes off. And it flashes now. And that's that. Okay. All right. Nice so, job. You've got a. Uh, really nice you going to do. You've got a good handle on hovering.